Hello everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Quincy. Quince is a distance relation to the apple and pear family. So today here in Soulfire Chef Cuisine, I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I prepare these. Most of you may know quinces uh, and use them before as quince jellies and quince pastes. But we're going to do something a little bit different today. So I've already done some of the preparation as this will be a quick video. So first thing is make sure you've got all your preparation. So I've uh, got the pot of boiling water and in here, oh I wish you could smell it through there, oh see all that. In here I've got some sliced, uh, this is the stock syrup that I'm going to uh, preserve them in. And in here I have some sliced oranges, mandarins and limes. There's some vanilla pods and there's also, I make up a my own chai spice. I'll just show you uh, whether you can see it up there. Oh, there we go. Chai spices and I have a whole lot of different ones. There's the chef spice and all of those different ones. As you can see they're quite bulk because <laughs> I like to use a lot of spice. Coming back here. So I've got that simmering away now, and that's been simmering away for about 20 minutes just to permeate all those spices. So in there is a standard stock syrup uh, with all these spices and flavorings. So that's simmering. Uh, now what I had done was I had put a pot of boiling water on, or actually a couple of pots, because a, a dear friend had given us a big huge bucket of them, about 10-15 kilos. So... What I did was, as soon as the water was boiled, and it ha needs to be rapid boil, I put the, the quinces into the water, and you've really got to be careful. I just wanted to show you a couple of things. It's when the quince just starts to, oh look, there's one there. Hopefully you can see it. It just starts to, the skin start to break away. Don't do it any more than that. Okay, there's, just want to get a better example of that. See, even this one's fine. Yeah, because if you, if you take it too far, you kind of end up with this flowery kind of, you can see it there. But that's still okay, you can still use those, because once I cut it up, um, you'll still get the, uh, all the, the benefit of it. They're just like a bit like an apple in some ways. If you cook them too far, you'll end up with a quince sauce, um, which is not too bad. I'll show you when, when I kind of left them there the other day. I ended up mixing them up, I, and here's one of them. Uh, you can see there's some peaches in there, some black peaches, queen peaches. I also had some apples. Uh, and then I mixed them all, I made up a syrup and then mixed it all together. So that's more like a, a compote uh, than a preserve. So as well as that, I've got the, all the jars in the oven ready to go, sterilized. So here is what I've started doing and started to cut them open. So I'll just set the camera down, set it up there. So just to show you how to cut. Now if you cut it too close, you'll hear it crunch and bite into that. And I just cut a piece here, because you'll see the um, that's part of the, the seed or the stony part, and you don't really want. If that happens, not too bad. You can just very carefully cut that out, okay? So it's not, not too much of a worry. Now these ones on the bench have been sitting here for a while. So they've just started to oxidize and that's where that little bit of brown is. Okay, but I'll just show you on this one. Okay, so I've cut it there. That's what it looks like. And you see, so much easier when you do it this way, uh, preparing the quinces. Because if you try cutting them when they're raw, one, they don't taste so good. But it's, oh, geez, you, you may as well have a chainsaw or something. I don't waste anything, so I cut all these little bits off as well. Uh, now, Sandra was in before, and she had a, a piece of it, and 
to hurt. It tasted like a, um, a tart kind of apple with uh, a custardy kind of flavour. So we've got, or I will have, all of the quinces uh, chopped up. And once I've got them chopped up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into the pot of the simmering stock syrup. Now, depending on how much I cook them, because if you put them in here too long, you will end up with a sauce. So the thing is to get it, it's a crucial part of quinces for me, is getting them so that they're kind of just right. Now don't, don't go, oh wow, that's going to be too hard. All you've got to do is when you've got your hot water, you put them in, and it only takes maybe seven minutes. Smaller ones, they're probably more the five, six minutes. The bigger ones, they might be 10, 12 minutes. Uh, don't, yeah, just keep the idea of the time there. But what I do is I'll get a wooden spoon. I'll be continually mixing them around and then I get the, the apples. And you'll know if I'm hitting it and it's making a really hard sound, that's different to you'll start to it'll start to get a softer sound and by hitting them a little bit it's not like bashing them but hitting them a little bit it helps you uh, you'll see the skin break up a little bit earlier so as soon as you start to see a little bit of that just the first slight part as I said some of them uh, you won't see it and then in others and that's why we just sort of keep stirring them. You, you see, it just starting to go there. And that's the best part to get. So I've got them chopped up now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these probably only for one minute, two minutes at the most. I just want to make sure my stock is really hot when I put it in. Uh, and then let it come back a little bit one two minutes and then I'll take them out and I'll put them straight into my hot jars uh, for the bottling part. The other thing that we do is you can just like this. Uh, it's best to cut them uh, as you go and then when you've cut them see how they're still all fairly uh, they're not like these ones which have been sitting here for a little while longer. Um, because you can put those straight into the freezer. So you cut them and then you put them, as you cut them, you put them into a freezer bag and then you freeze them down. Okay, now when I uh, had boiled them, I tipped the water out and then I plunged them into cold water. It's yeah, probably best to use, uh, put some ice in there as well because it'll cool them down really quickly. Okay, so once again, the secret is getting your apples to that uh, state where they're just starting to peel okay just slightly you can just see it there okay once they've done that uh, strain them off plunge them into the cold water and then you can cut them up as soon as they're cut up then you can put them into this beautiful stock okay thank you and have a beautiful day